one and two is very very important and we had learned about that in a previous video and today we are learning about stage three of WHO clinical staging of HIV infection together with opportunistic infection and it's very very important in this stage to note that your immune system is significantly compromised and uh, your viral load is steadily increasing at alarming rate and uh, when you feel all what we are going to discuss uh, it's very very important to know your status so that you may prevent uh, disease burden of HIV and improve your quality of life and even start the antiretroviral uh, early enough. At this particular stage, your viral load is rising, as I've said, and uh, your CD4 is really, really declining, and sometimes it might be less than 350. Normally, uh, CD4 can range about uh, 500 to 1,500, and uh, the main conditions that might appear in this stage three we are going to discuss them into details and if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly hit the notification bell return subscribe turn it on for more videos that uh, we will post and kindly share like and uh, continue watching these our videos we really really appreciate now main conditions in stage three number one severe unexplained weight loss which is greater than 10%. Kindly note that this is may, this may not be related to diet or any other illness, uh, but significantly it is because of HIV, uh, which is bringing malabsorption due to now chronicity of the infection is going on, and even your metabolic demand is uh, uh, going high because the virus is really, really taking its uh, toll. Uh, body literally breaks down its uh, muscles, uh, fat cells and uh, fat components and uh, this one may make you lose, lose a lot of weight. So it's very, very important that if you have not known your status and all of a sudden you are losing weight and you can not even explain, you've done several tests and they are negative, kindly make sure that you know your HIV status. Chronic diarrhea more than one month uh, might set in. Uh, this is uh, due to uh, uh, opportunistic infections like uh, cryptosporidium, bringing what we call uh, cryptosporidiosis, uh, which is uh, normally manifested by uh, watery diarrhea, uh, mycobacterium avium complex, or even cytomegalovirus really, really play a very, very good role for the chronic diarrhea, which sometimes might not be responding uh, to drugs. Uh, this might also be because of HIV enteropathy, which normally affect your gastrointestinal tract, uh, bringing uh, what we call malabsorption, inflammation. And this one is really, really important because when it sets in, diarrhea, is persistent even more than one month. Now, you will notice that there's also some non-infectious diarrhea, even if sometimes you are not, uh, you are on antiretroviral. So kindly note that this might bring uh, dehydration, uh, uh, nutrients loss, secondary to malabsorption. And uh, this is now because your immune system is really, really going down once more it is very very important to know your status and start antiretroviral as soon as possible number three persistent fever for more than one month uh this will be called fever of unknown cause uh we've done uh, several investigations uh, other than hiv and all of a sudden they are negative also it can suggest chronic infection that is setting in like um, tuberculosis which is uh, more rampant in HIV uh, even fungal disease that has become systemic and this call for severe bacterial infection that might set in like uh, pneumonia that inflammation of the uh, uh, lung fields and even the flus that are uh, present in the lungs and even the meningitis uh, that is inflammation of the meninges 
uh, this one can be meningitis due to a bacterial uh, pus in your muscles we call them pyomyositis bone, bone and uh, joint infections can also be present in this particular stage uh, what we call empyema that is pus in the pleural space uh, uh, that is the space between the lung and the chest wall uh, so this severe bacterial infection can be occurring frequently on and off on and off for those who are hiv positive more than those who are hiv negative so if you are noticing that all of a sudden you are developing pneumonia you are diagnosed of either bone joint infections you've done several tests even for arthritis uh, they are negative know your status at this particular time so that uh, you may start antiretroviral very very fast and uh, improve your quality of life now oral candidiasis uh, these are white creamy coating in the mouth or even the tongue and majorly caused by a, 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 a fungal infection called candida albican uh, sometimes it can be painful and uh, it can interfere with the way you eat or the way uh, you speak oral hairy leukoplakia oral hairy leukoplakia these are white hairy patches on the sides of the tongue as I'm uh, showing them in this particular uh, diagram uh, that cannot be scrapped off those white hairy patches you cannot scrap them off they are not like uh, the one in oral candidiasis and these are caused by a virus called Epstein-Barr virus and this one strongly suggests that your immune system is really really depreciating and uh, if you notice uh, there's white patches in your tongue and you've not known uh, your HIV status take a uh, take a step of faith and uh, uh, do your HIV testing and uh, sometimes uh, it might uh, be HIV that is presenting with this because uh, your immune system has really really gone down this is the stage where we find pulmonary tuber uh, tuberculosis and uh, uh, tuberculosis majorly caused by uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis and uh, this is highly contagious can even affect the whole village uh, for those who are HIV positive or even those who are HIV negative so transmission is always uh, airborne droplets uh, that is uh, from the cough or when uh, somebody is infected uh, with the TB uh, sneezes and cough sometimes may be bloody uh, you, it can be productive of sputum which is bloody uh, you can develop difficulty in breathing some chest pain uh, fever night sweats even loose weight loss and fatigue and sometimes uh, loss of appetite when it's, it's now uh, serious now uh, pulmonary tuberculosis is very very important in this stage there are other tuber, uh, extra pulmonary tuberculosis that we also learn uh, in stage Four. So it's very very important uh, because tuberculosis normally affect almost all organs except your hair and your nails. So take note of that. Acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis or periodontitis. Uh, this is manifested by severe infection or of the gums. Uh, causing pain, uh, bleeding of the gums, and even destroying the tissues around the gums. And this might result into bad breath and even loss of teeth. Uh, this is caused by uh, your reduced immunity and then bacteria invades and this is now affecting your teeth, your gums, and uh, that's what we call gingivitis and periodontitis. So once more, it's very very important uh, to know your status if you uh, present with such kind of conditions in this stage most of the hiv positive will present with unexplained anemia your blood is just going down your hemoglobin level is really really reducing and it is less than eight grams per deciliter so sometimes some things we call neutropenia uh, that is reduced neutrophils and even what we call chronic thrombocytopenia that is reduced platelets so you can either bleed excessively or you develop bruises 
uh, when this occurs you can develop fatigue uh, bleeding or even recurrent infection so this is because now your bone marrow has been suppressed uh, due to this chronic uh, disease uh, we call HIV which is now reducing your immunity so basically uh, this is what we call uh, a warning stage because your body is really really struggling your body is telling you you should do something please get tested start antiretrovirals uh, it's very very important in this particular stage because to prevent further progression and improve the quality of life kindly uh, do test yourself and uh, this one will really really help i'm happy uh, because of uh, those who have been supporting me kindly subscribe to this channel turn on notification bell and watch the stage one and two of hiv and uh, next we'll discuss stage four which is the most severe uh, stage with a very weird and complicated uh, opportunistic infection so stay tuned and do not miss kindly once more subscribe to this channel by hitting this notification bell turn it on for more videos that we will post and watch the videos that appearing up here muchas gracias